Hello viewers, this is Dow Too Fast here. In today's video, I'll be installing a 3M Scotchgard Pro Series paint protection film on this 2019 Honda Odyssey. This one I'll be installing is a computer cut kit specifically for this Honda Odyssey. And it includes protection for the bumper, the hood, part of the fender, the side mirrors, and the headlight. Now I bought this kit on eBay for $288. You can also get a piece cut just for the bumper and it's about 180. Now before I show you what this protective film looked like, I want to mention I had a similar product installed on my last vehicle, which was a 2008 Honda Odyssey. And here's a picture of it. This picture you're looking at is 10 years after having this film installed. As you can see, the film does a really good job protecting the front bumper. There are no paint chips or cracks. If you're interested in seeing how this product is installed, stay tuned. The entire kit is shipped to you in this tube right here. And inside it comes with a squeegee. And here we have two rows of the 3M Scotchgard protection film. Before installation, make sure you clean the vehicle very well. If your vehicle is older, I recommend you use a clay bar. For this vehicle, it's already been washed and cleaned. This piece that I just rolled out is the hood and also the two headlights. Now I know it's hard to see but this bigger piece I just rolled out is the front bumper, the side mirror, the small trim piece for the lower part of the bumper and at the top we have two pieces for the fender. You need to make a spray solution using 24 ounce distilled water, 8 ounce isopropyl alcohol and two milliliter of baby shampoo and that's what I have in here right now. Now with the squeegees I use for installation I don't prefer this five inch one that comes with the kit. It's rather hard and it's hard to use. I prefer these two yellow ones. This is a four inch one. This is a two inch one and you have a nice grip at the end over here and the edge is a little bit softer. It's not too soft. It's perfect to contour around the bumper. Spray the vehicle down with your solution. So you need to move this around and position it to where you want it and make sure all the corners match up. So do this before you do any squeegeeing. Thank you. 
You also need to stretch this bottom piece here. If you see some of the edges lifting up, you can use a heat gun to help dry it up a little faster. Now use your finger and work it around the edges. One thing I want to point out is on both sides, you do have to stretch this film for it to fit. Otherwise you might think it's an inch or two inch short, but it's not. That's how you get it to wrap and follow the contour of the bumper. There's a separate piece that go on the bottom of the bumper right here, and that's what I'll install right now. The front bumper is done now. 
You can barely see the film that's installed. Here I'll be installing the piece for the driver's side fender. Now for the mirror, there are actually two pieces. One that covers the front side and another piece going on top. Right now I'm installing the piece that goes on the front side here. I'll only be installing the piece on the front and not the one on the top. And here's a piece for the headlight. I finished installing the clear protective film last night. Let me give you a closer look. Everything on the front side of the bumper is now protected. With this 3M Pro Series film, it is self-healing. So if you have some fine scratches, all you need to do is apply some heat to it and the scratches will go away. Here's a piece for the fender. And it goes right up to here. The bumper piece covers all the way to the side right here. And let me show you the edge of where the film is. It's right along here. And the bottom lip is also covered. Let's take a look at the mirror. Also the headlight is covered, so it'll protect it from any scratches, dings, or rock chips. Now before I end the video, I want to give you some pointers on installing this type of protective film on your bumper. First off, this is a great investment. If you've never used this type of product, you might be a bit skeptical in the beginning, but I had it installed on my 2008 Honda Odyssey and it really saves the bumper from scratches and rock chips. Even after 10 years, the car still looks great. For those of you who might be interested in installing a product like this on your own after watching this video, if you have never installed this type of product before, 
On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being most difficult, I would rate this at about 8 or 9. The reason for that is because you do have to understand how that film material behaves when you stretch it around the bumper so you can get it to conform to the shape that you need. Now if you have worked with similar products, then the difficulty is probably around 5 out of 10. The front bumper piece will always be the most difficult to install only because it's a very large piece, it's awkward to work with, and it's best if you have someone to help you so you don't risk dropping the material onto the ground and picking up all kind of dirt and debris. So here are some pointers I can give you for installing the front bumper piece. First you want to line up this piece onto the bumper and center it so you have equal material on the left side and right side. Then you want to tack down the center area so you can stretch the material to the left and to the right. As I showed you in the video, if you don't stretch it, you're going to find that the left side or right side is going to be short 2-3 inches. And the computer cut design is designed so that when you stretch it, the film will conform to the shape of the bumper. So that's done on purpose. Now the adhesive that's behind the film is water activated. And after you get it wet, it does take about 5 minutes for it to tack on and not slide around. If you try to stretch a material right away after you squeegee some of the water out, you'll find that the film will just slide around left and right. So what you want to do is squeegee down the center area, give it a minute or two, and then you start working on one side and pull the film and stretch it over the contour of the bumper. When you stretch the material, make sure all the corners here, here, and down here all match up and the edge should come right up to the edge of the bumper right here. If you find that you have too much material or too little material, pull the film back, spray some solution, and then reposition it. And continue working your way around all the way to the side and again the side edge also have to line up with the edge of the bumper. Now if you're installing this film in a very cold temperature you may want to get a heat gun and just warm up the material a little bit that will help with conforming the film onto the bumper. Now this clear film is not like window tint where you apply heat and it will shrink. It does not do that. You can apply a bit of heat just a little bit to warm it up and it will help you contour the material around the bumper. When you're done with the install, you can also apply some heat to the edge of the film and go around it and press it down just to make sure the edge does not lift up. Now one more thing that's very important I want to mention to you is if you buy a kit like this on eBay and you install it and you screw it up, don't think you can contact the seller and get a refund. Unless there's a defect on the film or the seller made a mistake somehow, the responsibility of properly installing this product is on you. If you've never used any type of protective film or clear bra on your vehicle, I hope this video will give you an idea what's involved in installing a product like this. By no means am I an expert on installing this product, but I have done a few installs on my own vehicles, so everything I share with you in this video is strictly coming from a DIY perspective. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Thank you for watching, and remember to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.